Welcome. In this video, we are talking about Starlink and what to expect if you're interested in using the service in India. We'll talk about Starlink, when it will be available in India, how much it will cost and anything else you need to know. Starlink is a satellite communications giant that aims to offer high-speed internet in remote and underserved areas by deploying a large constellation of low-earth orbit satellites called LEO. Starlink is an international satellite internet telecommunication provider that is wholly owned by subsidiary of American aerospace company SpaceX, providing coverage to over 100 countries and territories. It also aims to provide global mobile broadband. India is the most populous country in the world, home to over 1.4 billion people, 22 official languages, incredible natural landscapes, world-class cuisine, and much more. It is no small wonder why India has become an increasingly popular tourist destination. Okay, so before we talk about service in India, let's talk about availability. Let's first check the current status of Starlink in India. So we enter India as address in the availability map on the Starlink website. Please make sure to subscribe, to like, and share. Once we have the availability map, we navigate to India. And according to the availability map, India is in deep navy blue, meaning the service is coming soon. Yeah, the Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, the world's richest man, has been eyeing entering the Indian telecom sector with Starlink. Musk will not take lightly an opportunity to take over the Indian market. Elon Musk has long been eyeing the Indian market for his satellite internet venture. Okay, so when it comes to the price, how much it will cost, Starlink ships from Texas. So let's find how much the people in Texas are paying for Starlink. So we use the same availability map, we enter Texas, and then we click on Texas, and then we have the order in case we are from Texas. And so according to Starlink, if we're in Texas, we're paying $120 a month and we're paying $349 for the hardware. So basic hardware is the dish, the router, and the power adapter. Anything else is for sale at an additional cost. Get ready to pay at least for the service every month $120, which is a minimum of 10,140 Indian rupees. And then for the hardware, $349, which is in rupee. 29,500 at least. Now there's an additional charge that will be possible a set of tax, possibly a congestion charge like in the US, which is $100. And of course the shipping charge, which is not less than $20, the shipping and handling charge. And so in India, be ready to pay a minimum of 39,600 Indian rupees and a monthly fee of 10,140 rupees every month. Okay, so now let's check the news and see what is going on and when is Starlink coming in India. Now, Musk believes that the administrative allocation of spectrum will help accelerate Starlink's entry into India and improve internet access in regions where traditional telecom infrastructure is lacking. In an article online dated November 12 this year, the Indian Today business section reports that according to the Union Communications Minister Musk Starlink license, approval will come after security compliance as soon as starlink gets security compliance approval then they can proceed to apply for a license india is going to allocate satellite spectrum administratively which is a good thing and so this is what um, the minister said we are more than happy to give them a license if they starlink will comply with all the conditions obviously they are in the process of doing that that's what cindia was quoted for saying by the news agency pti so according to India Today in an article online dated November 12 this year, Starlink is one step closer to securing its entry into the Indian market. And so it's just a matter of weeks and probably maximum a month or two. Some it could take maybe three. But according to reports, Starlink's commitment comes after several meetings with Indian Department of Telecommunication. The company is in principle ready to adhere to key guidelines essential for the grant of a satellite broadband service license. And while Starlink has yet to formally submit its compliance agreement, this is a move that indicates that the company is inching closer to launching its service in India. Elon Musk Starlink is moving closer to launching India, agrees to meet security norms, and now Starlink has made a significant step towards launching its services in India after agreeing to adhere to the government's data localization and security requirements so what starlink has to do is now apply for it after going through the security checks 
and styling should be ready for India. Thank you very much. I hope you love this video. If you have any comments, you have anything to say, let me hear it. I would really appreciate it. Until then, check out this video and the other videos.